right, guys. So in an effort to, if you just started watching this video or just started watching this portion of the video, what you probably saw first was me setting some very, very inexpensive white sapphires into some inexpensive sterling silver settings. Now, again, this is me doing this myself, and so it's inexpensive. Every step of this process for a millennial engagement ring, quote unquote, millennial engagement ring, or a low cost engagement ring can be upgraded. So you can change the material to gold or upgrade the stone or change it to a natural stone, like a topaz, all the way up to a diamond, if you want to be foolish enough to buy a diamond. So just to give you an idea of what a white sapphire is, how inexpensive a created sapphire uh, stone is in a round cut, the video you saw was a six millimeter as well as an eight millimeter diameter stone. This right here is approximately a 10 millimeter stone on JTV. So this is a discount jewelry re website, primary stone basic settings, 14 millimeters by 14 millimeters. So almost one and a half centimeters in width, a huge, gigantic, absurdly large stone that would look kind of silly, and it's basically costume jewelry. However, it illustrates a major point here, and that is that created sapphire is extraordinarily cheap, and white sapphire is even cheaper because there's no additives used in there to add the color, like a, a ruby would acquire a certain kind of mineral to make that red, or a blue sapphire to make it blue. And we have about 10 carats in this image, just to give you a some perspective on what it looks like. And that's just an example. And this is like the bottom barrel, cheapest thing. You know, the, the cut quality of the stone that you probably get probably wouldn't be terribly high, but that's about it. So that's what it looks like on their little preview. That just gives you an idea. Now, the rings you saw, the one being the traditional solitaire, being a six millimeter uh, uh, created white sapphire, the one of the more like curvy, accented kind of ring that was an eight millimeter. Let's take a look at what that looks like on an actual diamond website. If this, we were to look at the equivalent of an actual diamond. So first we got all these little, this is Blue Nile. Blue Nile is your standard diamond outfitter. They're probably one of the most well-known online diamond outfitters. We'll take off this little 360 view to get more options in place. We are aiming, we're not gonna work the price right now because we wanna see what the real price is, but we wanna kinda get as close as we can to what the quality of a typical created sapphire would look like. So one, we're gonna make the clarity pretty clear. We're not gonna make it perfectly clear. We're not gonna make it flawless. We're gonna put it in this VS, VS2 category. That means that under a loop, you might be able to see a flaw if you knew what you were looking for. But other than that, maybe not. Because there is sometimes where you see these like created sapphires, depending on the quality of the place that makes them. You might find like air bubbles that are very, very teeny tiny. But unless you're under a loop and know what you're looking for, you probably won't see them. Additionally, you're probably not going to be worrying about J, H, or I colors because these are created, which means they are basically colorless. There's no other colors added to them unless you want them there, like a blue or a red or any other color sapphire you might have to want. So we'll give it the best option, which is F to D, which is going to be your colorless colors. D being the premium diamond, which would be almost no color at all. and Very, very see-through, very, very lustrous under the, with the right cut. And to give the best possible outcome to making it as cheap as possible the diamonds we're looking for, we're going to look for a good cut. Not a very good cut, a good cut. And this cut basically will kind of show how well light is refracted back into the viewer's face. Makes it makes it how that, that sparkle sparkle, how much sparkle is. So this is like less sparkle, a whole lot of sparkle. An Aster Ideal, that is their special brilliant cut that Blue Nile puts out uh, from, I want to say it's a... Uh, like, if you ever heard of Leo Diamonds, that's their special cut, their brilliant cut, this extra special Aster Ideal. Same thing, different company. They all have different little copyrighted names. But we're just going to do a standard good cut. Just to give the best chance to keep this as cheap as possible. And I've done this once already, so we're going to make sure the carat weight is something close to what we're looking for. So we're going to start at one carat, and we're going to shoot for one and a half carat to see what that gets us at the top range. And right down here, you'll notice one very important thing and that the lowest price one they have available in that clarity range, which is pretty substantial, VS2 is $4,500. Now, what does that actually look like? Let's take a quick look. Look at the dimensions. What we care about is what the dimensions measure. So six by six by four. That is our small diamond that you saw in the beginning of this video. That is, and I'll pop that up in just a minute. You got a little 360 view there. Super pretty diamond, no doubt, no doubt at all. Cuts good, clarity is where it is, nice and clear. But it's a good, it's a very good polish to it, so that's why it's so shiny. Thick girdle, the standard thick girdle will be on those on any given white sapphire because they're inexpensive to make, so you don't have to worry about conserving weight. And it is essentially a $4,500 diamond. Not a setting, not a full ring set. This is just for the daggone diamond. 
So that's what we're talking about as far as the savings here. Now, is the flute, is the sapphire a diamond? No, but I'm going to give you some links in the description that basically show why the diamond market is a gigantic farce played upon young men all over the world. And then you'll see, and you'll read some articles, watch some videos. One's from College Humor, a great little thing about the De Beers company, and it just kind of shows you that marketing is why diamonds have value, and there's no other reason. And then we'll move on. So now we're thinking, okay, this is Blue Nile. This is your, you're buying a rock. You're, if you're going to Blue Nile, your goal is to buy a rock. Well, maybe your goal is not to buy a rock. Maybe your goal is I'm going to go buy my beautiful bride-to-be or hopefully bride-to-be a diamond from the local store. I live in a small town. We got a mall 30 miles away. And guess what? There's a Zales there or something. So let's take a look at what Zales has to offer. There's Zales. This is the closest thing I could find to something that looks similar to our set it's a one and a one and a fifth uh carat diamond solitaire ring and it looks great in this picture but you can never go by the picture from any given uh corner store kind of or zales reeds or um was it k all those these bigger diamonds are their top end so just keep that in mind and this is the quality we're looking at metal color white white gold what we care about is the diamond itself, the weight on it. Let's look, stone type diamond, stone color white. It's not clear. So it's a lower quality colored stone. Round shape, good, good, good. Stone class is genuine, so it's not lab created. Four prong sterling set. And here's the good stuff right here. The total diamond weight and the center stone weight, which are identical. Diamond color is K. That's very, very white, which is why it says white down here for the color of the item. The clarity is I3, which stands for inclusion level three, which means you can see stuff in it just looking at it. It doesn't mean you could like, it's not like a very slightly included or a very, very slightly included, which is that VVS of one or two, where you need a loop or a magnifying glass or just an expert eye to see this. This is a ring where you pull it out and you will look at it and go, oh, there's things in it. Oh, there's a crack. Oh, there's a little black booger in there because it's carbon. You will see things in this diamond. So that right there tells you right off the bat, Blue Nile doesn't even offer those things. You can't even find that in Blue Nile. If, if you look here, you will not be able to see this because we cat we took out the category. If you were to go down here, I'm sorry, I changed the wrong thing. Let's make it slightly included. That's the lowest they go. Not inclusions, slightly inclusion. I mean, you might be able to see it with a naked eye, but a loop will see it very slightly included with a very powerful loop. You can see it. And even so, we the most we get the price down to is 3200 So right there, we need to understand this. Diamonds are foolishly expensive for what they are. They're carbon. They're carbon, they're, they're plentiful, and their entire mode of profit is through control of sourcing. It's a monopoly. That's why diamonds are expensive. They're also a sec there's also a second problem with diamonds. Yes, they're the hardest substance known to man, tin and scale, and sapphires are a nine. They're the only thing that's, the only thing strong with them is diamond than these white sapphires you just saw being set up. What that means, anytime you're looking at these things, yes, it's a white sapphire or any sapphire stronger than glass, not as strong as a diamond, but diamonds have one other issue that makes them less valuable, in my opinion, in the opinion of a lot of others, they chip. Diamonds are brittle, especially when compared to sapphire. Sapphire is so strong that now iPhones and, and uh, Samsung, they're looking into creating what's called sapphire glass for their phones because it's better than Gorilla Glass, which is what they've been using, which is strong by itself. So sapphire is a great material just to work with in general. There's no issues with it. You're not going to worry about it. If you want to buy a high quality sapphire, don't do it. I, I went and bought mine on eBay from a lady who I happen to know about that sells them and they're dirt cheap. You can go online and buy created loose sapphires and they're dirt cheap and they're more expensive than buying online from a, a third party seller, but you'll, and, but they might be a better cut. They might be better quality. They might be better in general. They'll have more of a shine to them. You can get all kinds of shapes. And here's the thing, you can get this done for under the cost of a major dinner. So that meme I'm, I showed in the beginning, that is legit all true. It is not that expensive. Most, I live in the South. If I want to go somewhere and get it professionally set, it cost a big bag 20 bucks one time. I got some jewelry from my wife said it was $20. They were in and out. I was back in the afternoon. They were ready for me. It was good to go. So you can save a lot of money if you're willing to set aside this notion that diamonds are the most perfect thing in the world that you have to have. You can look at things like, you got these sapphires here. There's also, um, oh, sorry, let me go back to there. You got that basic sapphire. There's also other options. Let's say you're like, you know what? I get that 
the white sapphires cheap. But there's also things like loose stones. You can you can find uh, let's say, let's look for some loose topaz, loose topaz. And there's a company called Africa Gems because a lot of stuff comes a lot of these gems come out of Africa. Loose topaz da, 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 down through all this. Oh, there's some look at all this pretty blue topaz. Topaz gems. This is from AfricaGems.com. You can get on here. Look for let's say you want a diamond replacement. White calibrated. Calibrated means that they are well cut gems typically. It means they're measured out more properly. So if, let's look here. This is Swarovski. This is a company cutting these topazes that is very well known. Swarovski crystals. Oh yeah, this is these people know how to cut some glass. So take a look at this. You can select the size out. So real fast, what were the size we looked at? We were looking at six and eight for some pretty hunky rocks there. Fifteen bucks. This is a natural stone. This came out of the dirt. So if you have some apprehension about, oh, I'm a little worried about how this looks, buying getting a a synthetic or a not real stone this one's real this one came out of the dirt this was part of a big hunk of clay stone and dirt and there was a beautiful rock inside of it that they turned into a more beautiful shapely rock eight millimeters 35 bucks you're talking about multiple carats worth of diamonds and if i were i'm i'm nervous about even looking at the eight millimeter diamonds because they'll be absurdly expensive and i don't even bother with that you're probably looking close to five figures on those so just look elsewhere don't just go with diamonds there's other options out there and this will probably be the end of the video i might show back uh, some video of the actual diamonds being finished up themselves but please look at alternatives to diamonds it's just not worth your time all, always and the millennial jokes yeah they're great and all but yeah save your money don't spend a ton of money on a diamond ring especially when diamonds are fragile and that's the little dirty secret about them. they're fragile and they chip really easily thanks for watching